Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner, and I've got some pretty good news. I found another diamond. Um, I went to the park last weekend, um, showed up uh, Saturday morning, um, didn't really have a good game plan in place. I didn't know what there would be out there. We hadn't had a whole lot of rain. We had just some light rain, so I wasn't sure if there would be very much gravel. So um, I did a couple of different things. I worked in a search field trying to kind of make a furrow of my own, and I'll have a video coming later on that. Um, but uh, so this video I'm going to show you uh, the diamond that I found and then I'm going to go and I'm going to go take you to actually where I got the material and washed it from. Alright so uh, you can probably tell from the shine on it that that is the diamond that I found. Um, so I have started classifying my material by eighth inch when I put it on my sorting tray and basically I'm just taking a, a plastic cup and I've built myself a little little box screen with eighth inch mesh and uh, so all of this all of this uh, material here on the sorting tray is less than one eighth inch you can tell it's all about similar size so that'll make it so that they're, they're a little bit easier to see It's kind of between a brown and a yellow. Let's see if I can get the light a little bit better so you can see that metallic sheen to it. Alright, so now I'm going to take you and show you where I got the material from. It was right beside the South Wash Pavilion. Uh, just took a few seconds to fill a couple of buckets up and carry them up there and I'll show you where. Alright, so uh, I've brought some buckets out here, a shovel, set of screens. Show you what I'm going to work today. I've got about four hours. Okay, so this is some of the water. It's actually coming, well there's been a little bit of rain, so some of it's draining out of the search field, some of it's coming from that North Wash Pavilion. <clears throat> So I started scooping out of there and you can see it's already filling back in, but the material I'm actually scooping, which you can hear right there, that's the uh, hard pan, that's unbroken soil down underneath. So as I can pull this out, I'm going to show you. So a lot of that's gravel that's filled in. So what I'm doing is, uh, there is a lot of silt that's mixed in there with it. So I'm just going to pull out of this little drainage right here. And this is basically material that's just washed and filled in. <clears throat> there is plenty of it. I could work this for days if I had, uh, if I had that much time down here. So I'm going to see how many buckets I can get through. I may not actually concentrate much of it. I may just wash it. <clears throat> Being able to pull one bucket of, uh, of one bucket of washed gravel a day uh, that's probably not going to be centers that's probably just going to be what I can wash and not even concentrate I don't know we'll just kind of see how time goes so I'm going to get uh, five six seven buckets out of this and uh, start washing All right, so I've got about eight buckets of material I'm going to run. Pulled them out of the drain right over by the South Wash Station. So uh, go ahead and run a screen set full of it and see what I come up with. Not much in the top screen to be too excited about. So there's a little bit of silt in there, but there's quite a bit of gravel, so I think this will be a good 
good day of material. All right, so we've got a pretty good center in that. <laughs> oh, Lots of color. Got some heavies in it. I don't see a lot of spinel. I'll grab the camera so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. <laughs> All right, so you can see I've got a pretty good little center right there. It's not it's not real big. It's got a lot of color on the outside. Lots of uh, uh, quartz and calcite in there. I don't see a whole lot of spinel. There's a few pieces. There's one nice little piece right there. So uh, this material is real close to the wash station. So in, you know, I've got about four hours, a little less than four hours now. Um, it's close enough I can run through quite a bit of material. I probably won't actually work it to a center. I'll probably just take the gravel home. Um, it's going to take me a while to fill up a five gallon bucket. So if I get to where I'm getting close to a five gallon bucket full that I can just uh, center some of it and kind of reduce the volume, just basically get it to where I've got the amount that I can carry out. That's all I need. So um, yeah, I'm just going to sit and work this material and I've got eight buckets of it lined up right now. Maybe I can get through it all and hopefully there's a diamond in it. So I've got my uh, five gallon bucket of gravel I'm going to take home. Uh, it's somewhat concentrated. Some of it I did and some of it I didn't. I just dumped straight in without making a center. I can reconcentrate it when I get home, but it's just almost closing time. So I think I'm going to pack it up and call it a day. All right, search area is closed and I'm calling it a day. I've got a five gallon bucket of gravel I carried out. Um, material didn't look too bad. I actually found several garnets today, gave them away to some of the kids there in the wash pavilion. They were pretty excited about it. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, but thank you for watching my video. If you would, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.